Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Dark's Kingdom. This is Jacob. OpenAI has just released all three mini today. And it is the newest, most cost efficient model in the reasoning series. And so this model currently is available for ChatGPT Plus team and pro users. For metrics, so you can see that for the math scores, the all three mini medium, which is the median size of reasoning, it actually shows the similar scores as all one, and the three mini high reasoning, you can see it's actually better than all one. And for PhD level science questions, you can see also it performs very well. So even with the median size reasoning, it achieves very similar score with O1. And for this uh, coding capabilities, you can see that the O3 mini is actually way better than the previous peers. And for the engineering, the SW bench verified, you can see that it also performs pretty well. Um, so to test it for free, you can go to uh, cursor or windsurf. So you can see um, from this uh, expose from cursor, basically this is out for all cursor users. For windsurf, you can also see that this is out on windsurf as well. And which is cool because um, OpenAI does not provide for public users, even uh, only with the uh, paid users. So, but you can actually test it on cursor. So without further ado, Let's open cursor and test it out. So you can see this is from cursor and from the drop down, you can just select all three mini, which is cool. So we're going to test some of the coding questions here. And uh, so first let's try uh, let it to write a Python function, right? So um, which we use to test for other models and let's paste that in. So red Python function that takes a list of integers and returns the sum of all even numbers in the list. Let's hit enter. Which is cool. So I think this is correct, right? So let's copy paste it to the Google Analytics to verify that. So let's go back to Google Analytics. and paste it. So let's click enter so you can see the sum is 12, which is 246. So this is correct. And also, let's test another coding question. Uh, let's see for this uh, generate SVG code for a simple butterfly. So let's see how this performs. Let's go back to cursor. and paste that in. Okay, let's copy the code. Let's go back to the browser. Let's paste it in. So this is kind of like a butterfly, so this is correct. So let's try another question. Let's say I want this to create a landing page for a company. So go back to cursor. Let's test that out. Cool. So let's copy the response and paste it into the uh, HTML viewer. So good job. So I actually did it very well uh, on this AI company landing page, as you can see. So let's click those buttons. Um, it's also working. Great job. So. Uh, let's test some other questions. Um, 
Let's try this very tricky question. So for this uh, capital city of the country whose name ends with Laya, I'm referring to the country name here. Let's paste the question. So it is Australia, so which is cool. So this is also correct. Uh, let's try another one. Try this uh, create a Python implementation of Conway's Game of Life. Okay, let's cover the question. Let's paste it in cursor. Okay, let's copy the response. Let's paste it in Google IDX. Click wrong. Enter the number of generations to simulate. So let's click five generations. Okay, good job. I think it works. Um, okay. Let's try another one. Let's try a reasoning question. Let's try a three gallon jug and five gallon jug question. How can you measure exactly four gallons of water? Let's paste the question. This is cool, so it's actually also correct. So let's mark the questions that we tested to be a pass. First, the Python question is a pass. For the switch code is a pass. For the Python implementation uh, convey of life, given of life is pass. For the uh, three gun dragon five return question is pass. Also for the lightning pitch question is a pass. And also, uh, is the 307 a prime? We can test that one also. Let's test it. So it is a prime, so this is also correct. So let's mark that as a pass. So also the 11th question, the capital city of country whose name ends with Laya, this is also correct. And let's try this end question, like this end an algorithm question. Okay. Let's um, design an algorithm to optimize the e-commerce company. Okay, so this is actually really good as well. This is awesome. And okay, I think uh, let's check the scores first. Let's go back to our spreadsheet or markdown page. Let's just uh, check all the scores. So basically they got uh, all the questions correct. You can see here, everything that we tested has a pass. Uh, even though we didn't test every single question, but uh, let's also test another one. So let's create a Python program that prints the na next x leap years based on the user's input. Okay, let's test it. Okay, let's copy this question and paste it to the IDX. Let's test it. The leap here is oh, 28, 32, 36. So this is also correct. Okay, this is awesome. Let's go back 
to the questions. So let's mark that as pass as well. Okay. Um, I think we tested how many questions? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's test another one. This is a very simple one. Let's how many A letters in the word of Alibaba? Let's try that one. So there's a three. This is correct. So let's mark that as a pass as well. So you can see from all the questions that we tested, it all passed. So which is super cool. Um, so that's the full test for the O3 Mini that just released today. I think it's super good uh, that we can test everything from cursor. Um, so if you want to test WinSurf, uh, I think it should or also work as well. Um, but they're all based on the O3 Mini. Uh, that being said, hopefully this is helpful. And if you do like this video, please subscribe, like or comment. If you have any questions, and thank you so much for supporting the channel, and see you in the next one.